grants. What, sir? Grants in a hand. Grants in ads. Okay. So, this is the amount received without any condition of a repayment. So, they are not be repaid. Which one not repaid? Repaid. Grants in a hands. So, this is the grants and hands the given to their short shortage. And it is called the fund in the generally without specify the purpose. And I call eyes. We can especially mean playing the role in this government sector. Special grants are there. Spe special grants, it is giving this the special purpose. It is a main playing the role. That is a thing. So that's what we just we are calling that one grants. Grants and are not, it is not repeated without condition. Okay. Next is public expenditure. What's that? Public expenditure. So, what do you mean by public expenditure? The central government or state government, local body authorities, they are collecting finance, tax, revenues in different way. If not available in this finance, sufficient finance, if they couldn't cut the public, then what will we do? They are asking borrowing, they take help of the financial institution and the etc etc then here to this the spend of lot of money in this defenses and the law of order to the also certain international facilities public services especially in state government on central government they are spending the money first is depend defense Norway Air Force and uh, army, their use of expenditure, they are spent to particular sector is defense. After that, public. Here to go, they are collecting the revenue from the public. They are also they are spending the public. So both balance are there. You are collecting the revenue from the public now. So expenditure point of view, I am saying, whatever it is, they are collecting the revenue and the income, the spending public purpose only, social infrastructure purpose only, and everything they can try to spend. If you doesn't have, it is doesn't have road facilities and the hospital is in a post office and a veterinary hospitals everything purpose the public expenditure the main playing the role to pay the state and the central local bodies so which purpose we needed the public expenditure so namely or thus internal security purpose defensive purpose we are going to expand this one and the technology the agriculture and uh, we have the sectors are there primary sector secondary sector and uh, third sector that is called service sector all the sector purpose the government spend the ex money namely our defense the services, agriculture sector, the services tech sector, research purpose, universities establishment purpose, government hospital is purpose, and the general services purpose, and the internal and the external office, etc. etc. So grants, foreign government purpose, subsidies, and uh, they are providing this one. As in the states of national ultimate in this public enterprises purpose, local body purpose, the so many expenditure they spend the like a state and a central governments. And 
and moreover this the public expenditure transfer to money of the community the income of the society increasing our amounts but sometimes public never pay the taxes because they don't have knowledge of the tax so that is a one of the drawback if all the people pay the revenues or taxes to regular in certain a time certain a period the particular state and central government to be provide the good services to the public purpose okay so next topic is public debt what's a public debts debt means what borrowings or loan public debts the government expenditures exceed of revenue the government expenditure exceed of revenue one option it is that one it is a public debts means there is no revenue the government facing this lack of revenue they are facing the more expenditure so what will we do they can't pack up the government so the what will we do the option is borrowing take the loans they are creating the public debts the government will be do the create the public debts so the types of public debts according to the public classified into the two categories namely or namely or internal debts internal debts next is external debts external debts internal and external internal debts the arised of the sources the bank financial institution and the private individual within a country within a country so whatever it is we how to need the money borrowings we approach the banks local banks or financial institution within a country within a country we should not cross the abroad countries okay so that is called the internal debts like sbi sbh and the financial institutions are there what is the financial ic ici okay next is idbi axis okay small scale industries sci sidb this kind of financial sectors they are providing take the loan certain in a country within the country what is the next one external debt if you want use money use amount they can depends upon other countries other countries abroad countries they are providing the loans to the mother countries suppose india india wants 200 crores lakhs money 200 crores money they want so what will we do they can asking abroad countries or usa or japan and china whatever it is so at the same time we have the so many financial institutions are there ibrd international banking regulation developments and ifm international monetary fund so many financial institutions they provide the loans to the other countries okay that is called as external debts okay repayment of the debts of the government is called as redemption public debts means what we are taking the debts borrowings either internally 
or externally. So what will we do? We will pay in future. Means repayment of debt by the government is called as redemption. What sir? Redemption. We are taking loan from the IBRD, IFM now. So what will we do? We pay the we repayments. Means what? We pay the loans in a certain period. So whatever it is paying that one, that is called redemption debts. So here to go that the following this methods of redemption debts, public debts. First is as surplus debt, surplus budget. What do you mean by surplus budget? How to get the surplus budget? The revenue exceeds of the public and expenditure. Means expenditure is low, revenue is high. That is called budget surplus. Surplus, so budget. If the government plans to the surplus budget, the excess of and the revenue of the utilized the repay the public debts. Example. What do you call first is redemption. Redemption of public debts. Redemption of public debts. Redemption means repayment. Repayments. What is the first one? Surplus budget. So exceed of income, expenditure of income means expenditures low, revenue high, income he is high. So that is called surplus. For example, if your country getting the surplus, the remaining income or budget surplus amount repayment to the public debts public debts that is called surplus budget so next is refunding what sir refunding we are taking this loans and the financial institutions and the public sectors we are getting the use revenue so what will we do we payment the particular financial institutions either internally or externally so go for the next one is annuities so annuities it gives to the government to the employment per annum per yearly so whatever it is the repayment of the public sector and I every year such as annual payments and uh, the regular till to the complementary clearance okay so refunds and a surplus and a budget and annuities we can utilize to pay the public debts sinking fund what sir sinking fund what do you mean by sinking fund sinking fund it is the government create the separate fund is called as sinking fund so any government they are maintaining the different different funds so whatever it is government maintain the space specific the separate fund that is called the sinking fund so the for the purpose of repaying the public debts it is also very useful to that one